This is Colin O'Keefe here for LXPN TV. Social, social media has an impact on any number of things, particularly in the area of law. But one worth taking a look at is its impact on trade secrets. Joining us now to discuss that, specifically the intersection of social media privacy legislation and trade secret law, is Eric Barton, attorney at Cypher Shaw and author on their blog, Trading Secrets. Uh, Eric, first, can you describe for us the issue? What new laws are you seeing in the United States that really present challenges for companies nowadays? Sure. Well, thanks for having me, Colin. Uh, really, back, it really all started in 2012. Uh, states began enacting what's commonly referred to as social media privacy legislation. And it was driven by really the inherent tension between an employer's desire to protect its trade secret information and on sort of one end of the spectrum and employees and their social media accounts, which is sort of designed, as the name suggests, to distribute as much information to as many people as easily as you can. And employers were concerned that their trade secrets and proprietary information was making its way onto employees' social media accounts. And those employers, as a result, pushed to have access to and can really control over their employees' accounts. And then that led to employees saying, whoa, 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 those accounts belong to me, and you don't have access, you shouldn't have access to it. And as a result, we were left with this sort of a quagmire of, or at least unsettled area of who belonged to what and who had a right to access what. And we've got cases that started sort of going all over the, the spectrum on, on that issue. Fast forward then, so 2012, people sort of started getting their act together a bit more, states did, legislatures did, and began passing social media uh, privacy legislation, which sets forth a series of ground rules. It varies from state to state. We're up to about 20 plus states that have it now. And just the last year, Connecticut, Virginia, uh, Utah joined the ranks. And those legislation sets rules for what an employer uh, is allowed to do and not allowed to do in regards to accessing its employees' social media accounts. And it also then sets forth penalties if, if it's violated. Uh, most states have uh, monetary fines. And it's interesting, though, there, it's not all consistent. Some states will say that the remedies, um, you, you cannot bring a civil action for a violation of one of the, the, the violations of the, the media legislation. Others say you can bring a civil action. And so it's, it's, it's creating and it's providing finally a little bit more of a framework for what employers can and can't do in relation to their employees' social media accounts. I see. And yeah, of course, we're seeing a number of these. The, the patchwork of states that have them is, is always expanding. But second, what's your guidance for companies on this issue? How can they kind of proactively attack this so they're not you know, being reactionary on this front? Sure. Well, first and foremost, you got to figure out if you've got, an employer's got to figure out if they've got employees in a state that has enacted social media privacy legislation. And I'll put in a pitch for the firm I'm with, Cypher Shaw. We put together and released yearly, just recently did, a social media uh, privacy legislation update that details sort of a summary of state by state, who's enacted legislation, what that legislation sort of summary is, but long and the short of it is, you got to find out if you're if you're governed by any type of legislation. And if you are, you obviously then need to figure out if, if your agreements with those employees or practices with those employees in those states conforms and complies with that legislation. Uh, and second, it sort of hand in hand with that is because this is evolving so much, and particularly for employers that have employees in multiple states, if you have employees in a state that hasn't passed legislation, obviously you got to continue to monitor whether those states pass, pass legislation because virtually every state, uh, I think really without exception, has if they haven't passed something already, it is in the pipeline and, and something will probably spit out at the end. Um, we also strongly recommend that our employ employers that we, that we advise carefully review any social media policies they have with their employees and make them really as specific as possible. And there's no silver bullet here, but the more an employer can have established established agreements with its employees, 
that conform with the any applicable laws on the front end. And again, is more the more specific the better. Everything from what sites uh, an employee is allowed to use through work or not through work, and what information is allowed to go on those sites or not allowed to go on those sites, and who has control, and when the employer can access it, and when they can't. That groundwork uh, and that framework can save big, big time and money on the back end, where particularly in states where you don't have social media uh, policies, uh, legislation in place, and you're then in you're then in sort of throes of litigation, and and who knows how it'll turn out. Absolutely, you don't want to be at the you know the whims of of certain you know gray areas in terms of your agreements. The more that you can lay out in advance, the better. Absolutely. Uh, once again, that was Eric Barton of Cypher Shaw. For more of his insight on trade secret law from him and his colleagues, be sure to visit tradesecretlaw.com. Thank you for joining me today, Eric. Thank you very much.